The statue of a controversial figure in New York history removed from the front of Albany City Hall being requested now in Saratoga County. Philip Schuyler's contributions during the battles of Saratoga helped turn the tide in the American Revolution, but he was also one of the largest owners of enslaved people in the region. News 10 NBC's Anthony Krolokowski has more tonight on what's to come for the statue's future. A Philip Schuyler statue was once on display in front of Albany City Hall and has now been put in storage out of the public eye since last summer. But some people are asking for it to be put back out on the street, but this time in a new location. At Thursday night's Albany Common Council meeting, Phil Barrett representing Saratoga County asking the statue that was removed in June of 2023 be relocated to Schuylerville. From that point forward, it's always been in the back of my mind that um, if they no longer wanted that statue, uh, that uh, Saratoga County would be a great place for it based on the legacy Philip Schuyler has. Barrett said with the 250th anniversary of the Battle of Saratoga coming in 2027, the county would be a perfect location for the statue, representing Schuyler's contributions to the country, state, and region. News 10 previously reported that the statue was taken down because of Schuyler's legacy as a slave owner. Some in Albany argued the monument was a constant reminder of slavery. I mean, I know why they took it down, but... In my mind, it's history and you can't change history. I don't think you should take down statues. I mean, if you don't agree with what's going on, maybe you put up another statue to do a difference of opinion. In Saratoga, people came up with a few places to display the Schuyler statue. We have the Schuyler Estate, which is a National Park Service historical site in Saratoga County. Either in front of the Schuyler House or in front of the where the town offices are, right on the corner of Ferry and Broad Street. Barrett says the county will pay to move the statue themselves as they look for an appropriate location, if allowed. I'll be visiting with them again to discuss it, and hopefully we can engage in more conversation than just speaking at public privilege. The city of Albany says that they do not plan to give the Schuyler statue away. Instead, they will be taking in applications for the new Commission of Public Art and Monuments. That commission will be the ones deciding where the Schuyler statue will end up. Reporting in Schuylerville, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC. Anthony